Why when you are silent in front of the narcissist makes him suffer so much? Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here, whether you're a regular viewer or joining us for the first time. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat counterintuitive topic. Why being silent in front of a narcissist can cause them so much suffering. It's a tactic that can be incredibly powerful, but the reasons behind its effectiveness are deeply rooted in the psychology of narcissism. So, if you've ever found yourself wondering why your silence seems to drive a narcissist up the wall, stick around because we're going to unpack it all. Let's start by understanding the core nature of a narcissist. At the heart of narcissism is a desperate need for attention, admiration, and validation. Narcissists are like emotional vampires. They feed off the energy, reactions, and emotions of others. Whether it's praise or conflict, as long as the focus is on them, they feel powerful and in control. This is why they often engage in manipulative behaviors designed to provoke a reaction from you. They crave the drama because it reinforces their sense of importance and superiority. Now, imagine what happens when you decide to be silent in front of a narcissist. You're essentially cutting off their supply of what they crave most, your attention and emotional response. This silence can take many forms, not responding to their provocations, withholding your opinions, or simply choosing not to engage in their mind games. To the narcissist, this is like suddenly shutting off the oxygen in a room. They can no longer breathe in the validation they so desperately need, and this triggers a deep sense of panic and suffering. One of the reasons silence is so effective is because it forces the narcissist to confront their own inner emptiness. Without your reactions to distract them, they're left alone with their own thoughts and insecurities. Narcissists typically have a fragile sense of self, and they rely heavily on the external world to prop up their self-esteem. When you stop feeding into their ego, they're forced to face the reality of their own inadequacies and fears. This can be incredibly distressing for them because they've spent their entire lives avoiding these feelings. Another aspect of why silence hurts a narcissist so much is that it disrupts their control. Narcissists are all about power and control in relationships. They like to be the ones who dictate the terms of interaction, who push your buttons, and who make you react in ways that make them feel superior. When you choose silence, you're taking back that power. You're no longer playing their game, and this can feel like a direct challenge to their authority. It throws them off balance because they're not used to being in a position where they don't have the upper hand. Silence also triggers a narcissist's fear of abandonment. Deep down, most narcissists are terrified of being left alone, even if they never admit it. They fear that if people stop paying attention to them, they'll fade into obscurity. Which is their worst nightmare? When you go silent, it can feel to them like the first step towards abandonment. They start to worry that you're pulling away, losing interest, or no longer under their influence. This fear can cause them to act out in desperate ways, trying to provoke you into reacting, just so they can feel reassured that you're still invested in them. In addition, silence denies the narcissist the emotional reactions they need to justify their own behavior. Narcissists often play the victim or the martyr in situations, twisting events to make it seem like they're the ones who've been wronged. They rely on your emotional responses to fuel this narrative, whether it's anger, frustration, or sadness. When you respond with silence instead, you deprive them of the emotional ammunition they need to maintain this storyline. They can no longer paint themselves as the misunderstood hero or the persecuted victim because you're not giving them the reactions they need to sustain that image. It's also important to consider how silence can induce a sense of rejection in the narcissist. 
Narcissists thrive on feeling special and important. They believe they deserve your undivided attention and admiration at all times. When you choose silence, it's a form of passive rejection. You're signaling that their words or actions aren't worthy of a response, that they don't have the power to affect you. This can be a huge blow to their ego, making them feel insignificant and powerless, two things they can't stand. Another reason why silence can be so painful for a narcissist is that it prevents them from gaining information. Narcissists are often very curious about what others think of them, what they're planning, or how they're going to react. This information gives them the data they need to manipulate and control situations to their advantage. When you're silent, you're essentially cutting off their supply of this valuable information. They don't know what you're thinking, what you're planning, or how you feel. This uncertainty can drive them crazy because it takes away their ability to predict and manipulate your behavior. Your silence can also be interpreted as a form of emotional strength and independence, which can be very unsettling for a narcissist. Narcissists like to see themselves as powerful and others as weak or dependent. When you demonstrate that you can remain calm, composed, and unresponsive in the face of their provocations, it shows them that you're not easily manipulated. This can be very intimidating to a narcissist because it suggests that they don't have the control over you that they thought they did. It also implies that you have a strong sense of self that isn't easily shaken, which is something the narcissist often lacks. Finally, Silence can be a powerful way to protect yourself from further harm. Engaging with a narcissist often leads to more manipulation, gaslighting, and emotional abuse. By choosing silence, you're setting a boundary that protects your mental and emotional well-being. It's a way of saying, I'm not going to let you drag me into your toxic drama. This not only helps you maintain your own peace of mind but also sends a clear message to the narcissist that you're not going to be an easy target for their games. Thank you so much for staying with me through this deep dive into why your silence can cause so much suffering for a narcissist. It's a powerful tool, but it's important to use it wisely and with the intention of protecting yourself, not as a way to provoke more conflict. If you found this discussion helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insights like this. Your support means the world to me. And I'm so grateful to have you as part of this community. Take care, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.